What is up, you 4,500 glorious assholes? Welcome back, Bukas Nation. Uncle Bukas is going to give you a in-depth look, in-depth guide to the Johnny Depp versus Amber the Turd Heard civil trial. So for those who have been living on Pluto or any, you know, other faraway region of the world, Depp married Amber Heard. They're both actors. Well, one of them is an actor. One tries to be an actor and she fails terribly. But it's not her fault. I mean, she is a woman. You know, sometimes women have smaller brains and it's hard for them to, you know, be on par with men. I mean, this is common knowledge. So, they got married and it ended very, very badly. She accused Johnny of beating her and being mean. And long story short, he got canceled and he lost a lot of money. So finally, after many years, they're finally in court. The trial's been going on for the past two weeks or so. And it honestly has been um, very entertaining. So the trial is actually more entertaining than the movies that they both have made combined the past couple of years. So it is a good thing. But this whole thing is is it's it's very messy and, and honestly Amber like lied, right? So she said Johnny beat her and that she used and she claimed she used a very specific makeup and then the makeup company came out and said, No, we didn't make that makeup pack until I think it was twenty seventeen and all these incidents happened like in twenty sixteen. So of course Amber is caught in a lie. And since I'm going off stream of consciousness here Recently, as of recording this, a witness in the trial for Johnny Depp, she was a, um, she's a licensed psychologist, she interviewed Amber and she gave her professional opinion on the issues that Amber's have, and she said that she has like a type of personality disorder, but um, what I, it's a really complicated word, but what I got from it was, bitch be crazy, okay? That, th that is what I got from it, but... The thing we need to look at is, I think Johnny kind of knew what he was getting into, right? So if you're dating someone for a little while, I mean, they got married like on the beach, right? And um, quite honestly, I don't even know why celebrities get married, to tell you the truth, because, I mean, most of them get divorced anyway, so what's the point of even paying money to get married? Like, just, just like, sign papers if you want to do it. You don't have this, this stupid shindig on the beach and you waste all kind of money. I mean, if I'm going to go on the beach, I'm going to take my boat, I'm going to go fishing, I'm going to drink some beers, I'm going to have a good time. I'm not going to go have a wedding and get sand up my ass cracked, but anyway... So I think Johnny knew, you know, she was a little off his rocker, but maybe he thought that that was cool. Maybe he was attracted to that, you know, maybe, you know, you know he, he went a little bit crazy. I mean, some people think Amber is attractive, but I, I don't. I think she looks weird. And the fact that she's crazy makes it even worse. So I believe he knew what he was getting into, but I didn't, don't think he knew just how over-the-top insane this woman is like it's absolutely insane she threw a glass she threw a big glass bottle of like vodka she cut his hand he had to go to the hospital and she even said that she didn't like hanging out with Johnny and his friends because all they did was sit around and play guitar that sounds like a good fucking time to me sit around with your bros playing some guitar writing some tunes that sounds like a good time I'm sorry Amber is too small brain and too smooth brain to, in to enjoy such a awesome type of activity and the clinical psychologist, as she was, let me go back to what I was talking about before, before I got on the tangent, sorry. So, the woman who was testifying, she absolutely buried Hurd's team. Like, her lawyers are worse than public defenders. It is absolutely ridiculous. This, okay, so this woman isn't exactly poor. It's like, where the hell did she find these lawyers? Did she literally go to the dollar section in Target and find her a couple of lawyers? Because that's really, really, really what it feels like. Like, one of, the, her, one of her lawyers was literally objecting to his own question. Like, bro, how fucking dumb do you have to be? You're objecting to your own question. I mean, we're not even talking about a question from, I think... Don, Johnny would technically no. Johnny's a prosecution, yes, 
Right, we're talking about a question of prosecution. We're talking about objecting to your own question as a defense. Bro, are you that fucking dumb? All right? I haven't passed any bar tests. The only bar tests I've passed is is drinking all the beer out of the bar when I go in. All right? I've passed that bar test, and that's the only one that's actually important. So if I was Amber Heard's lawyer, I definitely wouldn't be objecting to my own questions. What kind of fucking dumb idiot does that shit? Obviously, her dollar, her dollar section from Target lawyers. And then the lawyer who was interviewing the psychologist today, I think I'm saying that right. If I'm not, I don't care. Fuck you. And the psychologist who was being interviewed, she absolutely destroyed her lawyers because every time the lawyer would say something, the psychologist would be like, nope, that's not exactly how it is. She's like, nope. Like, she, she the lawyer kept trying to kept her blech, kept trying to catch her tripping up and it just, it was not working. She, she was very professional. She handled herself very well. This is the psychologist I'm talking about. It just makes Amber look even more ridiculous. I know she took the stand, I think like yesterday, but um, I'm, I'm actually busy working, so I didn't have time to waste, you know, watching her testify, because, let I me mean, let's get real. The most famous thing out of this trial is that she shit on the bed. I mean, I've shit the bed a few times, right? I've shit my pants, okay? I've shit my pants plenty of times, but I didn't purposefully shit on a pillow. Like, this is psychotic behavior, right? Like, why are you going to shit in the bed on purpose, Okay. Absolutely insane behavior. But it's not all bad, right? We need to be thanking Miss Turd because she has done a glorious thing, right? She got Johnny out of Disney's grass and away from pirates. Because that's just pretty real, right? Pirates died back in like 2008, right? After the second one, it's absolutely shit. They just kept making it because Disney, you know, they love that money. So they're trying to rake in that money. They're trying to get paid. Which, I mean, I understand it, but they just stop. Pirates has been dead for a very long time. But that was one of the things that happened when she put all this allegation against them. Disney was like, oh, well, we can't touch you. You know, we gotta let you go. Goodbye. So Disney cuts Johnny loose. And that's part of the reason why he is suing her for like 50 million. I don't know if he's gonna get that much, but because of all his lost wages and you know, all of his projects got put on hold and no one would hire him after all this shit went down. But as we're seeing through the trial, it was 100% bullshit. But like I said, she is doing well. She also got herself pulled out of Aquaman, which is another great thing. So look, good things have come from this trial. Johnny has gotten away from Disney's lame ass movies. Amber has, I think she's been cut down to like nothing but 10 minutes in Aquaman. Because, I mean, let's just, let's be real. I mean, Momoa is the one who's carrying that. Momoa is pretty much single-handedly carrying the entire DC franchise as far as I'm concerned. Because DC movies, DC movies are so bad. Their animated series are absolutely fantastic, okay? They beat Marvel's animated ones. But their movies, their movies are bad. He's single can single and carrying it. And uh, supposedly, Herd and Momoa, and Momoa did not get along in their clash, which I see why, because Momoa, Momoa is a top shelf dude. Dude is awesome, right? And Herd's a bitch. So as we can see, yeah, that's exactly why they didn't get along. But she's gonna be cut out of the movie. Johnny is taken out of Pirates, and it looks like Johnny's gonna win. I'm, I'm, pr I'm, I'm pulling for my boy. Hopefully, he gets a little bit of that cash that she stole from him, and I don't know who's gonna touch Amber. She can barely act as it is, and now everyone will know for, for real that she's absolutely psychotic. But that's going to wrap things up, guys. Now, if you enjoyed this video, leave me a like, subscribe, join Buka Station. we got lots of new videos coming along. I know I left y'all hanging for a little while, but things have been busy. Hurricane tried to kill me. FEMA didn't want to give me no money. Had to fight with insurance. It's, 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 been, it's been hellacious for Uncle Bukas, but he's back. It's better than ever. We roll in the summertime. We about to get in the boat, get some fishes, hang with the bros, pop some beer. I'll catch you in the next one. Laters. Gators.